Okay, welcome back. We are here with Zach from Callaway again. Welcome, mate. Zach. Hey, thanks for having me. Pleasure, pleasure. Well, it's pretty exciting. I don't want to ruin it before it starts. So Callaway's 2024 product, what have we got coming? Yeah, so we we uh, we have a brand new Apex Pro series that's uh, that's coming, and we're very excited about it. You know, a lot of people kind of expecting Apex this year. We had Paradigm, and we did something a little different here. We're 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 launching it, and we're really focusing on the better player. Uh, we've spent the last three years with working with our tour staff uh, closer than we ever have before uh, to design the most advanced tour irons that that Callaway's ever produced. And so we're really excited for for everyone to to get to see these new products and, and try them out. So I think you touched on it, I think picked up on the terminology there. So it's it's the Pro Series, it's Tour Iron. So you're not replacing DCB, you're not replacing um, Apex. You're just doing this, This it's like a pro area. You're really focused on like a tour style club. Correct. We, we it's, been, it's been a little bit of time since we've had kind of the full better player assortment launch under one brand, right? We've had, X Forge that was out there for a little bit. Right. We had the TCB that launched as sort of a limited tour type of offering. Uh, and, and really what we wanted to do was how do we bring that all under one umbrella and, and really have Apex be our flagship brand on tour and focus on the better player. When we, a lot of people don't know when we're putting in work into whether it's Apex or DCB and Pro, when we've launched those together, I mean, it's a ton of work that goes into to all those products. And we, we wanted to be able to focus on the better player and and really just like put the full weight of the Callaway R&D machine uh, on, on the tour player, on, on the better player. It's not that we haven't done that in the past, but really just being able to focus and, and, and bring these under one brand. That was the goal here. Well, there's a whole line of clubs, not just, a, you know, one club coming out too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and again, well, you know, like we've seen with some other brands too, I mean, these are perfect to mix and match. and. And uh, I'm sure a lot of the tour players are doing that as well. Yeah, we have, it's a full full family of better player products, right? So we're gonna right. have a new Apex Pro, a new Apex CB, uh, a new Apex MB, there'll be a utility iron, and then also a new Apex uh, utility wood. So all all products that are you know, kind of geared towards a better player, towards the tour player, and we'll, certainly we're gonna see those. Well, what I'm loving about this already, and uh, this is no detriment to Callaway, but there's been so many names. We've got Rogue, we've got Paradigm, we've got right, Apex, right, you know, right. everyone, it's like, what fits where? And I think this kind of really tidies it up for players. You know, you're going to have the pro area of the Apex, you're going to have Apex, and then and then you're going to have uh, DCB, then you're going to move into the Paradigm, and, and it really kind of just cleans up the definition of, of which products are for who. So I think right, that's a good right. start. Yeah. And these are cool looking yeah, too. I mean, it, they're all flat finish, so they, they look all clean. Um, I could definitely see you guys mixing, you know, the blades with the cavity back with even the hollow ones and long irons. Are the specs relatively similar as far as lofts and stuff, or are they spread out pretty well? Yeah, that's a great call out. It, they are designed to be comboed together. That was one of the, right. from day one when we set out to make these, it was, hey, we know that we know that combo sets are, are a big thing among better players, among tour players, and, you know, having the benefits of, of different types of clubs and different point, points in the bag. And so when we started out, like I said, from day one, the goal was to make these so that they can blend seamlessly together. So your your offsets, uh, your shaping, your hosel transitions, all of that is going to be, you know, really, like I said, it's going to be me meant to blend together. And so in the specs as well. So lofts are going to be very, very similar. The CB and the MB actually have the same lofts across the board. And then the Pro is one degree stronger. Uh, it's got a little lower CG too, all, right? So probably. Yeah. That's that's the hollow body so that one does have especially in the long irons you know we got tungsten out there to to really move our cgs right. uh where we want them but uh yeah they they are still all made to be to be you know blended they also all have the same you guys can see there on 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 the product they have the same back weight that mim weight right. and that's the same across the entire family so one they look they look like they were kind of made together they blend together just from a you know industrial design perspective but uh, it also is it, you can get fit and when we're when we're building these out you can have uh there's you can go up or down essentially one swing weight point so when you guys are building sets uh yeah. when fitters you know, people are they can control the swing weight a little bit easier is it something we've been able to get these back weights uh, so we can adjust all those things and and if so you know do you have any idea what kind of range they come in 
Yeah, so it's going to be 12 grams is the nominal. So that's right. the one that is the same among all. And then it'll be up five grams. So okay. 17 and then down down five to uh, seven. That's, that's, that's enough. Yeah, that that's works. It. Yeah, it's a, it's a full a, club, basically. Yeah, right? exactly right. Exactly. It's, a, it's a full club. You can make them a half inch over, no problem, or half inch under, or whatever you want to do. That's it. That's yeah. it. Well, I mean, we've got the guy here. This is Zach. He's, maybe I didn't get enough, give enough background. Hopefully, you've known him from our previous podcast, but yeah. you play a big part in the design and, and engineering of these products, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm the senior product marketing manager. We, we are working with all the teams that, that are bringing this together from a from an R&D standpoint, from a, the way they look, the industrial design. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's it, we're really proud of this this family. I know that there's been a lot of, we, we hear it, hey, where's where's Apex, when's that coming? And so the uh, wait is finally over and uh, we're, we're very proud to unveil these new ones. So I'd really like to use your knowledge. Um, you know, our, our, our guys are geeks, we're geeks. We wanna know the ins and outs of these things. So maybe start with the blade and let's just work all the way up to the to the UW if you, if you can. Yeah, so we'll 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 kind of go through the 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 technology. A lot of it is pretty shared, I'd say, across. There are slight nuances, and we can kind of go into those. But essentially, what we've seen when we talk to tour pros, we talk to better players, um, elite amateurs. That there's like three things that a better player really uh, is looking for in an iron to uh, in an iron set. And so when we talk about those three performance characteristics, it's distance control, turf interaction, and then feel. And so all of the things that we've done to these irons uh, really is trying to excel in those three areas. So if we look at the blade, that's obviously kind of a, a it's, it's a classic design in the sense that it is a classic muscle back, uh, right. but it's a new shape. It's a modern tour shape. You're gonna see a little bit longer blade length than the previous version. You're gonna see uh, the toe peak height is a little bit more pointed, uh, definitely taking some, some of the trends that we've seen on tour among our tour players among uh, elite amateurs that are coming up. Hey, what are they looking for in this type of product? So you're gonna see a new shape there. Uh, 1025 forged forge construction. Uh, so it's gonna feel uh, great. And obviously it's gonna have um, good turf interaction uh, as the, the sole feature on there, you'll see across all the models has uh, this dynamic sole design where you have a pre-worn leading edge that's gonna get you into the turf more efficiently. And then a trailing edge chamfer that's gonna get you out with as le uh, the least amount of friction as we can we can sort of make, and then also that has a variable a variable bounce design. Um, so across the sole, the bounce is going to change based on how we want that club to to interact with the turf at different points, uh, contact points. The uh, the two points that really stood out for me when I, I mean I, we have been through a little education on this already, but the heel to toe. Um, I mean you can educate me a little bit more, but I'm assuming that's to try and drag CG a little bit further away from from the heel in that blade, make it a little more centered in the iron. Are you talking about the blade length? Yes. Yeah. 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 So and and that's a good point because as I was kind of talking about the shaping among all the irons, uh, and obviously we're looking at the tour players, but looking at the kind of the next generation of better players, right? The the elite college player, right. uh, these these golfers it's it's a it's a little bit of a different game and you you even see it on on tour too a lot of guys are playing playing cuts they don't actually hit i mean some guys still play a draw but uh, the the trend is a lot of guys are starting to play fades and then to get that center of gravity a little bit uh closer to the center of the face as opposed to heel bias is what you see on a lot of better yeah. player product uh it's just easier to hit the fade that way and so um that's definitely a trend that you'll see not only in the mb but also in the cb uh, as well yeah, well, I, I mean, it makes sense, sense to me. I think yeah, absolutely. maybe a byproduct of speed. People are just hitting it a million yeah, miles now. It's easier to get a cut to sit down and talk to you. Don't worry about distance anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and the other one is the pre-worn leading edge. Now, I'm, I'm going to hopefully do some overlays that show this. It may not come out on the camera well, but it was so apparent to me when I got it in my hand. I'm looking at the sole square on, and it just you know looks like a regular bladed sole. There's not much going on, and then all of a sudden you just tilt it as though the face is going to be a little more airborne, and you just see this huge camber across the leading edge which is obviously, a, a, that's what you're talking about in the turf interaction. That well, really protects against that dig in the ground. Yeah, you got a relatively thin sole here too, but it does have some camber on it, obviously. So you got some variability there, but yeah, yeah if you didn't have some, you had a super sharp leaning edge on this, it would definitely dig. So it yeah. makes some sense. Yeah. Y yeah, the MB is actually kind of unique in this regard too, because the the Pro and the CB and the UT even, they all have that pre-worn leaning edge, but the MB has kind of a dual, dual leading right. edge where it has, pre-worn that's kind of on the sole side and then as you said 
Jack, the, the, on the, it's almost like on the face side, there's yeah. a, there's a lot of amber there. Uh, and that, that is, you know, from the work we've done with our tour staff, the guys that are playing the MB, that's feedback that we got. And, and one of the prototypes that we tested, we, we had, uh, several iterations here over the spanning over three years uh, on the MB just to, to get, get that sole feature. Right. So, uh, really unique. And, and like you said, it, it is pretty apparent when you see it. Yeah. Well, and I think you know, they're a little bit wider as you go through the soles, obviously, too. You know, they get a little bit wider, and obviously there's more camber off the back and more camber as they get wider as well. So, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially when you're, you're comboing. So what was your 7-iron lofts in MBCB? Uh, so the MBCB, I got them right here. I'll pull them up. Uh, 33, I believe, is our uh, – thir- sorry, 34 on the MBCB, 33 on the Pro. Okay, so you're only just taking that one degree off through the set there. It's just going to jump a little quicker. Um, and so just go a bit more into the technology of the CB. It has got a little more tech in it, even though, you know, it's blendable. It's got some tungsten, right? Yeah, so the goal here was to create uh, a, a iron that has the feel of kind of the feel that you'd expect from a one-piece, you know, single-piece forge, kind of that traditional uh, forging, uh, but play like a multi-piece iron. And so what we did was... We, the body, the body, the face, the top line, the hosel, that is all forged as one piece. Uh, and then we also, what we've done is we've taken a minimum tungsten weight, we put it in the toe side. There's actually a pocket that we, that is um, on the heel side, so we can move that CG more center. Uh, and uh, in addition, we can also move that weight up and down so we can control the progressive, uh, it's a, essentially a progressive CG up and down as well. So it's not only lateral, but also vertical to get the CG exactly where we want it. Uh, and so you're going to have a really good performing feel, but also really easy to control uh, irons up and down the set. So you're dragging CG lower within within the CB CB range, for instance, lower in the four iron, higher in the wedges to try and pick up ball flight and long and, and penetrate in, in the short. And yeah, exactly. And obviously the forge one, the one you got the hollow, you got a lot more room to move things around. So that's probably a little more extreme in the long irons, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, that's going to be uh, – it's a hollow body in the Pro, so that's a little bit of a different construction where we have a Forge 455 face cup. We'll have the urethane microspheres in there uh, and, and tungsten. And and really, the goal here on the Pro – so if, if we look at CB being, you know, ultimately all about control up and down, progressive uh, nature there, the, the Pro is really about – it's about having a little bit of extra juice in the long irons, but we didn't want to make this, uh, you know, a, a hollow body distance iron. And that, right, that's right. the no. apex pro iron. And I think where we've seen, when we look at some of the feedback we got on the previous model was that hey, it's still a little bit jumpier in those mid and long irons. And so we really set out to make sure that this was going to be precise throughout the set. So you're still going to have a little bit of extra power with the face cup and the long irons. But as we get to the, the mid, the short irons, it's going to be really all about precision. And what we're actually even seeing is that even tour pros are looking at the long iron and, and we're pretty confident we're going to see some three, three irons and four irons in this pro model. So it's not just going to be, a, it's not, it, it's going to be a actual tour, tour play, which is something we're excited about. Yeah. You, you just touched on another point and I want to you know give a shout out to Eric. He's our superstar rep here in, in Scottsdale. Um, People are going to look at CB and then TCB and like, oh, you know, why am I swapping? You know, what's the deal? And, and Eric made some big call outs that maybe you can highlight again for us. Like they are not just a rebranded club. There's some new tech. No, they're they're very different in the sense that their the shaping is going to be the thing that you notice the most. So uh, the blade lengths are going to be a little bit longer. And, and again, that comes through the trend that we're seeing uh, among the you know tour players and, and the elite amateurs. Uh, so blade lengths are going to be a lo- little bit longer. Uh, your top line is going to be a little bit thinner. Uh, your offsets are going to be a little bit different. And and so that's that's really it, it's it is a very different club in that regard. It's not just a a rebranded TCB. The other thing about TCB is that TCB um, had a faceplate on it. And so this right. is single piece forged in the sense that the face, the body, and and the hosel all together. So it, it'll feel. That's the number one comment we get from the tour staff um, on on this. The first comment I should say is how great these feel uh, compared to to TCB. Well, I'm assuming you're throwing these in the bag all over the place. They're a, a marked 
difference in terms of from from my visual and and what we did with that day when we did our education of like yeah they truly yeah, look like a different. real players club now and yep. and it's I'm, I'm assuming that's really hitting home with the pros you got some guys on tour already playing these now yeah or, or see who can see who can put right. uh put it in the bag the first week i believe it was the travelers is when we had people out there fitting um so yeah see he put them in the first week a lot of guys got fit into them and then they'll they'll take them home it's kind of a weird time right. for them to yeah. mid-season and it was a change for playoffs oh, right <laughs> yeah before the playoffs this is before the open championship so uh some big tournaments that they wouldn't necessarily look at but yeah a lot of those guys have got their sets they're getting dialed uh one of the hogard twins actually won uh, on the European tour, I believe, with the MB uh, prototype out there, so it, it's already got a, the family's already got a win under its bag, or nice. under yeah, in the bag there. So um, yeah, we're excited about it from a tour perspective. It seems like the story of the year for Callaway. You come out firing strong with the Paradigm driver, just winning all over the place, and I, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of these winning too. Um, and I think that is the real key bones of the player stuff. And then there's these two kind of outliers, which I don't want to you know overshadow with that. But they're, they're a slightly different kind of look at, at the, this new line, right? We've got the, the UT. Go, go for that one. Yeah, so the oh, UT, cool. obviously, it, it's kind of your driving iron, right? You saw a lot of them uh, at the Open Championship, uh, players putting those in the bag. For someone who's looking for either a forgiving, a little bit more forgiving long iron, three iron type of product or, you know, a driving iron that you're going to use off the tee, it's definitely going to launch, uh, you know, lower than you would see – with a hybrid or, or a UW. It's actually funny. I was at the range yesterday testing and, and just seeing the flight difference between a utility wood that's kind of, you know, they're, they're, they were the same loft or one degree off. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they, they've launched very different. And so for the different player types, they're going to do different things. The thing with this new UT that's interesting is we've actually changed the profile a little bit. So even better players, the, the tour players who launch the ball, you know, higher than most of us, uh, they were even saying, hey, can we make this thing a little easier to launch? Just, you know, I still want it to have that penetrating trajectory, but, you know, can I get it up in the air a little easier? So you'll see the profile is actually a little bit uh, shallower yeah. and, and that's get the CG down and just make it a, a smidgen easier to, to launch. Those things were so hot off the face in the last iteration. I haven't hit this thing yeah. yet, but uh, I know that it's it's going to be just, they go miles. What's nice about this one, though, is I mean, it looks like part of the set again, right? I mean, you stick these in the bag and, and you stick them yep. side by side and it all kind of blends. You could almost yep. have four different iron sets in your set if you really wanted to. Uh, you, could. you probably wouldn't even notice them in the bag. Now, the UTs yeah. are longer as well. Yeah, I think the spec is a little bit different depending on whether you're looking at steel or graphite because that gotcha. one will come in right. come in bulk. Um, but well, the they, graphite's I think, definitely going to be longer. Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Um, and but yeah, definitely made to blend with the set and and be easy to to combo. Throw in a three iron. Um, you could throw in a four iron if you if you want. That goes up to I think it's 23 degrees. So. Um, so you do a 17, yeah. 20, and 23. Is that right? 18, 20, 23. And then in the uh, in the other sets, do you go to threes or four irons? Threes, threes Three. across the board. Yeah. Okay, okay. You actually make a three iron on all of them. Okay. Yep. I guess those guys can still hit them. Oh. <laughs> uh, and you touched on the utility wood because I uh, again, yeah, that's a, another really cool product that uh, is is pretty unique in the sense that it it's for better players. It's kind of a you know we've seen this trend of better players kind of moving away from utility irons in in some cases and we you know that they don't really play a lot of hybrids better players tend to like more of a neutral ball flight and hybrids tend to have a you know they have a tendency to go a little left and so what we've seen is is the high lofted fairway wood really become a thing on tour five woods seven woods even nine woods in some cases and so what this utility wood product is is basically taking the best features of a high lofted fairway wood the best features of, of hybrids from a shaping perspective uh, and combining them into this utility sort of specialty high lofted fairway wood and and you'll see the lengths are in between so it's it's not quite as long as a fairway wood but it's longer than your typical hybrid uh, the shaping is going to be kind of the blend of the two and and really the key thing is that it's going to have a neutral flight so it's going to launch high it's not going to want to turn left on you it's going to launch high uh, land soft in the greens um, Rom's put this in play. Xander's put it in play. Burns has put it in play. 
Uh, so it, it's kind of your better player uh, hybrid sort and, of. And uh, what lofts are that come in? Uh, so that's going to come in 17, 19, and 21. Okay. So it's almost, almost like a four wood, uh, yeah, four, four, four wood, wood, five, five wood, seven, seven wood. wood. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Um, I, I want to just call out a few things on this. Uh, it's it's notably, you know, than a regular hybrid, it's wider from heel to toe and longer from front to back. So I'm assuming that's how you're creating that flight stability, just with a head shape? Yeah, yeah, the head shape and, and obviously having the, the center of gravity, you know, the MOI, we can do some things there. You'll see there's an actual weight on the bottom yep, that's right. moved forward. That's also part of that as well. Um, and the other thing, which is somewhat of a nightmare for us, but yeah, a bit, is, a bit but... fun, is the fact that most hybrids or things with this shape they have an insertion, you know, a, a, a width, a hosel width of 0 0.370. And, and that cre creates mm -hmm. iron shafts and hybrid shafts. This does not have that. This is a wood shaft. This is the same products that you'd be snapping into a driver and a fairway wood is what you're putting into this product. Correct. And is that, is that more of a, was that more of a design feature to get weight away from the hosel and, and you know, slim that down? Or is it, is it something like, okay, we want this to perform more like a fairway wood, so we want to put fairway wood shafts in it? Yeah, it's uh, it's the, true. It's a good question, and a lot of that does come from the tour feedback and them building stuff on on the tour truck and working with the tour pros. And yeah, to your point, getting it to perform like a fairway would, uh, that that is all feedback from tour and and the team uh, out there. Yeah, well, it looks great. We got a couple of guys here that that play these the yeah. older version, and they just love them. You know, it's it's like one of those uh, if 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 you go to it, you're not going away from it kind of thing. And then a couple of guys I know they're good players too. They just don't hit fairy woods all that well. Yeah. Like Gavin, for instance. I mean, he's a good, real good player. Yeah. Uh, but can't stand fairy woods. Loves those things. So. Yeah. That makes sense. They really, they, re they really do. Yeah. They're awesome. Well, we're excited. I mean, I best looking cattle. Set, really. Yeah. Best looking <laughs> Callaway product I've seen in a nine. I've got see TCBs, and I think these notably look better to me. I love the satin finish. I love the offset. Um, not sure I'm good enough for MB, but I'm certainly would play around with all the others for sure. Um, it's a really, really good job, guys. It's, yeah, it it's amazing. Great. Yeah, those. thank you. We, we are very excited about it, and we're excited for you guys to, to get these in the bays and, and put them to the test. Um, awesome. Well, we appreciate that, and we know this isn't the last chat. I know well, there's some other products that we've got to talk about before the year's out, so we're looking forward to getting into the weeds on those too. Awesome. Well, anytime, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Zach. Cheers.